All right, so we're going to do a certificate, SSL certificate on Windows here. We're going to use the Management Console to do that. Uh, I usually follow this document here when I go to do it, or at least refer to it if I forget a step. Uh, you can see they have little pictures and pointing it out, making it pretty easy. So we're going to pretty much follow this, and we're going to just do it all through the Management Console. We're not going to do it at the command line or PowerShell. So first thing we want to do is uh, start, run, MMC. And once this opens, we're going to add the snap in if you don't have it already. Oh, got an update here. Do that later. Here we go. We're going to add a snap in. And we're going to pick the certificates, add computer account. Next, local computer, finish, and OK. So now we have a certificate console. So let's save this to our desktop. All the certificates console. All right, so now we got the console on the desktop here. We'll just double click that and go back in. It's always available for us. And we're going to go to personal folder. And from here, we're going to go to a blank space in there under the object type and right click. All tasks, advanced options, and create a custom request. And then we can read that or not. Now we want to, for this, we, we keep the defaults. This proceed without enrollment policy. And no template and PKCS10. Here we want to do the details drop down, uh, properties, and uh, we want to give it a name. I usually uh, fill out the server name here. And you can fill that out in the description too. Um, just want to mention that this is the way to do it without IIS server. If you have IIS, it'll be done differently. At some point, I'll probably make a video for that one. All right, so the bulk of the work will be in this part here. And it's just uh, filling out some stuff. And you only need to... Uh, I think like five things out of here. So common name will be a domain name. Country code, US. Locality, it's always confusing me, so like your city. So I'm just typing what they have in their documentation, which is Los Angeles. Um, for the real world, you might want to put caps in the beginning of the, the letters that need it. Organization, your organization or company name. State. And that's all we need here. So I'm going to go to private key. Uh, 
key options. And uh, I'm going to use 4096 for this. Make it exportable. Say OK. Next. And then the request, we're going to just save the file that it creates. Keep it in base 64. Put this on the desktop and name it that CSR. There we go. Sorry, I have to block some stuff out sometimes. So now we got the CSR to, to uh, send off to our signing authority. So we can either upload the file or just open it up in Notepad, which is what I usually do. And I copy everything from the beginning, where it says begin, to the end. And I take that, and I upload that to the signing authority, and they give me back the, the cert that we need. So after you do that part, come back and watch the rest of this, and we'll import it. Another helpful utility here is, is DigiCert. You can make a cert with that, but we're not going to make a cert for this video with that but we i'll show you how to import it with this because sometimes microsoft management console gives me a problem so I downloaded the utility here and extracted it all right let's close this stuff out now All right, so now we got the CRT file, um, DigiCert utility, and we want to import the new file. So there we go, server name, CRT. And that's how you do it in Microsoft Management Console. And if that gives you an error, open up DigiCert, accept the agreement, then import it here, and this will do the work for you. Same way, just point it there, point it to CRT. When I get the certificates back from the certificate authority, I usually download as a PKCS7, PEM encode it. And that's all there is. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.